So today I'm talking about a Ford Mustang with the P1450 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford Mustang P1450 code? Well, it's an unable to bleed up fuel tank vacuum. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them up to the engine to get burnt off. This is for emissions, and the computer's seen a problem inside of this system, and so it's going to have to be troubleshooted. No, why? And depending on the year of the Mustang and things like this, there can be some differences for exactly what's going on inside the EVAP system. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram for your specific year to know for sure what's going on. But the basics of what's happening is that the gas vapors are going to leave the gas tank. They're going to go through a hose over to what's called the charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister is basically like storage for the gas vapors. And there's also going to be a vent valve on the charcoal canister. And this does different things. The computer can use this sometimes to close the system off and to do tests and things like this. This vent valve basically opens to the outside air. And then a hose is going to leave the charcoal canister. It's going to go up to the top of the engine to what's called a purge valve. And the purge valve basically stays closed when the engine's not running. And then when the engine is running, it opens up so all the gas vapors can go in and get burnt off inside of the engine. And so what would be some possible causes? Well, the first of all, the gas cap or the inlet is a part of the EVAP system. And if it's not sealing right, then it's going to cause issues. And this is going to include the Mustangs with the easy fuel system. This inlet right here needs to seal or else it could cause a leak and the system won't be able to go into a vacuum and things like this that it needs to do to work. And so for this reason, the first thing to go and do is to check out the gas cap if you have this. Be sure it's not cracked or damaged or anything like this. You make sure it's sealing up. If you do have the easy fuel system like this, then you could try to clean up that inlet right there. There's a funnel that's located with the jack inside the trunk that a lot of people will use. And then you can use like WD-40 and things like this. And basically try to clean this up and make sure that it's sealing. But the first thing to go and check is to be sure this is all sealing up correctly. The next thing that could cause this problem is going to be this purge valve that's located up inside the engine compartment somewhere. It's just a small solenoid with a little valve that just opens and closes when the computer tells it to. It's going to be located up inside the engine compartment somewhere. Again, it can vary a little bit on its exact location. For example, right here, here's a 2012 Mustang GT 5.0. Here's another example of a 2020 Mustang 5.0. And the purge valve is located up underneath that cover on the driver's side. It'll have two hoses going to it and a wiring harness. But the next thing you can go and do is check out that purge valve and be sure that it's opening and closing correctly. If that purge valve checks out good, then the next thing to go and check out is going to be this vent valve and this charcoal canister and things like this. There can also be a leak inside of one of these hoses or somewhere or something along these lines. And so while you can go and try to find the leak and check out the components like the vent valve and the charcoal canister and go and look at all these hoses and see if you can't spot a leak, a very common method to see if there's any leaks inside the EVAP system is to use a smoke machine. And basically you just feed smoke into the EVAP system and then wherever the smoke comes out, you know where the leak's at. This is a very common method. There's low cost smoke machines on like Amazon and eBay and things like this. I'll put a link down below if you need to check one out. You can also make these up yourself. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But however you want to do it, the next thing to go and do is to check to see if there's any leaks inside of the system. And this will include like the vent valve being stuck open or this charcoal canister. The charcoal canister and the vent valve is going to be located up underneath the rear of the vehicle usually up behind the rear axle so if you look underneath the back you should be able to see it back there but the next thing to do is to go and check out all these hoses and everything like this to check to see if there's any kind of evap leak going on and like i said using a smoke machine is a very common method keep in mind that if there's anything wrong with the wiring going to the purge valve the vent valve or the charcoal canister so then that could cause issues because anything wrong with the wiring open short bad connection anything like this is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad component so keep that in mind if you go through and you can't find any leaks all the components are testing good and things like this then the next thing you're going to check out is going to be this fuel tank pressure sensor and the fuel tank pressure sensor is, is basically the thing that's reporting back to the computer what's going on inside of the system and so if that fuel tank pressure sensor fails then there might not be no problem inside of the system but the computer thinks there is since that pressure sensor is just sending out bad data so if you test everything else out and you can't find no issues, then the next thing to go and check is going to be that fuel tank pressure sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford Mustang with the P1450 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.